Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here, and welcome to Shark Week 2019. And to celebrate Shark Week, we are going to be doing some special shark figure reviews for the entire week. Maybe not every day this week, because I don't think I've got enough shark figures for the whole week. But nevertheless, we will be doing at least four. One for each of the four big companies, that being Papo, Schleich, Safari, and Collector. And so without further ado, let's start off with the Papo Great White Shark. Now, Carcaridon Cacarius, which is the Latin name for the Great White Shark, is a species of lamniform or mackerel shark that lives in all of the world's oceans and some specimens can grow up to six meters in length. They are macro predatory sharks of marine mammals, but also feed upon fish as well as seabirds. This is also the most famous shark, as I'm sure I don't need to tell you. Okay, so as for this figure, well, because it's a modern day animal, uh, there's not really much you can really go wrong with in terms of appearance because you've got a modern reference on like extinct animals so yeah let's look at this I mean I don't think I need to say much when I say it looks just like a great white shark impressively so and I think Papo have done a wonderful job so let's look at the head now the head I think looks really good except for one part the teeth have been really well done, and so is the eye, as well as the nostrils there. And you can see the interior of the mouth has been painted pink. The teeth have all been individually painted as well, but here's the main problem I have with this figure. Look at the seam on the lower jaw. Look at that. Look how present it is and how visible. I think it really does detract quite a bit from the overall sculpt, which is such a shame, because I think this is pretty flawless otherwise it's just such a shame and we see the five gill slits here they've been done very nicely wonderfully done and we get to the pectoral fins now I do have a mi very minor gripe about the pectoral fins and that is because um, this figure is made out of very heavy <laughs> yeah listen to that very heavy plastic uh, the pectoral fins have had to be done quite flat rather than um, maybe perching it up a bit so it's very front heavy so it does kind of slump a bit like that which is kind of a shame and I feel like this the right one is a bit too long especially when compared to the left one like look at the left one and look at the right one it looks way longer to me I guess I can appreciate the natural asymmetry but it does feel a bit oversized uh, the dorsal fin trademark of sharks looks pretty good it's got this bit coming off here but again you can see the seams the seams all over it it's such a shame because it's so good otherwise and then as we go back to the the rear of the body we can see the uh, pelvic fins here the claspers so this is the male the anal fin tiny little caudal fin and again you can make out the seams here it's such a shame tail fin looks very good but again seems I keep saying that a lot don't I it's it's such a good looking figure it's such a shame that the um, that the manufacturing side really lets it down especially considering this is the most famous shark of all time there we go so let's measure this guy up. So in terms of the length, you're looking at about, let's say, just under 18 centimeters. In terms of the height, looking about, let's say seven centimeters at the tip of the dorsal fin. And in terms of the width, from pelvic fin to pelvic fin, or pectoral fin, that's about 10 centimeters, maybe just over. All right, so I think that's all I have to say on the Papo Great White Shark. 
a very good looking figure. It's just such a shame about all the seams and the minor issue of one of the pectoral fins being a little bit too long. But overall, a very nice figure and pretty cheap for the quality that you're getting. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another Shark Week review. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye now. Thank you.